Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Gianna. And welcome, and welcome to, to the, the We Watch, Watch It All podcast, podcast, where we watch it all and give you our opinions. Aka the opinions no one ever asked for. Welcome to the reunion. Oh, I'm like, why'd you look at me like that? Oh, oh. It's reunion day, folks. Or if you type it into your phone, I tried to type R H O N J reunion. What did Siri think I wrote? Think reunion. Huh? What was it? Which, you know, that's true. Some of them should be thinking a little bit harder during this reunion. A little bit of news before we get into this. You may have went, where were they last week? Did we miss something? Yeah, we disappeared for a week. Basically, what had happened was, we think our Vanderpump Rules should just be an overall episode. So we're going to do one. Once the reunion has finished airing, then we will give all our thoughts on Vanderpump Rules. Yes. Number two, where's the Teresa wedding special, you said? Well, we watched the special, and there was nothing special Special. about it. (laughs) So, Uh, you know what it was? I hear it's the thing. It was, um... It was, like, a long version of her wedding video. Like, a wedding video. That everybody has already seen. And there was nothing really... The only thing that I could well, say... let me just... We want to apologize ahead of time because Cash and Walnut... Somebody needs to crack They're taking nuts. their vocal lessons right now. So we just want to give a presumpt- preemptive apology on them because there's nothing we can do about that because they're no. not leaving anytime soon. They're getting their hair cut in there. So Apparently. Apparently. So there's there's that. But, yeah continue with the wedding special um but I, the only thing that i could say that i took away from it that i didn't already know about or something like that was the fact that everybody at the wedding did notice the hair and did yeah. make comments like that's the only thing that, like i was like whoa way whoa ho um right down to but see here's the thing i don't know if the sit downs were comments to compensate for the fact that people were making comments because louis made a comment about it but it was in a sit down so i don't know if he did that to try to like defuse the hair but there were people that like when they came into the room and saw it like jennifer aiden was like whoa like in even the dolores moment couldn't and dolores. Even, like, like they couldn't hold back no because you could see them trying to clean it up but in their mind you could feel where it was going their face said something else yeah so like that was the only thing that and like some people sitting in the seats made comments like they yeah. you know so i was like okay good because but it really it wasn't no. It wasn't anything. That's why we ended up not doing about that because, you know, it'd just be like, oh, and Teresa walked down the aisle and they got married and yay, and that's it. Who's yeah. really breathing over there? Yeah. No, so, yeah, I don't, I don't feel it deserved its own show. So that's why we were not here last week was because of that. But we're back now. Also, Luann and Sonia, welcome to, I'm going to go with it's crappy, but it looks like it could be Carpe. No, it's crappy. Okay, that's what I figured. It's part of the joke. Crappy Lake is going to premiere July 9th on Bravo. Obviously, we're going to talk about that because... It's going to be a tough one. I think it's going to be so good. I think it's going to be so they, funny. There's, there's such couple, a good there's, group There's an together. episode where they battle a big fear of mine. So I don't know how I'm going to oh, make it through. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks... The trailer just like... Yeah. It almost I looks like they're the going to... You saw the trailer? Yeah. What wow. the hell is that? That know. came from deep in the bowels of the cores of the walnut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I did. I did see it. But it almost, to me, I feel like if you've watched Shit's Creek, if you don't know what Shit's Creek is, they have they bought a town, and they kind of go through trying to better the town. But you know, they're they were once rich millionaires, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like it's gonna be like you know, obviously somebody out of their element. And I like that they also the way it's titled is Luann and Sonia, and then there's like the dots on top of each other. I forgot what that's called. What is that called? Like when the dots are on top of each other like that. Oh, and it's like and then it says welcome to yeah, crappy lake meaning that it's like probably gonna be like luann and sonia and then they can just retitle it welcome to wherever basically yeah, so that they, they keep, keep sending doing in places it. yeah that's a smart Which idea i think i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be funny so we'll cover that yeah unless we feel like there's nothing to cover we should stop making promises because we like to make promises here no, but we'll, most we'll likely probably we'll, talk about we'll, it. we'll attempt it, yeah. Or it'll be like a little splurge on the end of something else, yeah. perhaps, or something. So that's it, why you got to check out all the episodes. You have to see, like, depending on how much the episode is like, you yeah. know. It, it all depends on how the episodes are set up. Because this is also, you know it's already going into it, like, um, not that I don't want to say it's reality, but you know they're going and setting them up to do tasks that are meant to be funny and things yeah. of that nature. So that's why I'm saying it's like... You we'll know. see. Yeah. Like, All it's right. not like when you're watching a reality show and there's, like, some breaking news of, like, 
Teresa and Melissa and what what's going to become of them or something yeah. which who knows what's going to become of them my prediction I'm going to lay it down now they're both going to be gone I don't know I but there's here, some things here. that Teresa says that yeah I could see them both just just going to well, refresh here's, the show no, here, yeah I here's the thing because if so I don't think Teresa's going to be the one to survive Oh, I don't think so either. I mean, but we'll get into that too I because feel like she makes they a lot may of make the executive that decision that it's best just to shut them both down. But yeah. Joe Gorga gets along and Melissa gets along better with the majority of the people on the show. That's that, true as that well. They, they, they like him. And when you watch He's this, good TV. He's good TV. And that's... he. When they... There was a por- part where... I don't want to jump ahead, but they made a comment about him coming on the show initially. Why they picked them for the and show. And he said... Joe Gorga was cute. They were a cute couple. They were a unique couple. He was funny. He was engaging. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Perfect I mean, TV. Yeah. So I don't think they want to get and rid of him. And you have to keep in mind. So I think by like, proxy, Melissa will get to stay. That too. Because if you think about it, Joe's good with all the guys. Mm-hmm. Melissa's good with all the girls. So it keeps the guys and the girls. Because even if they went like, down Louis, one guy. I just don't guy, feel one... like he melds with that group of guys. So that so would lose that fun aspect of like, the Let's say they boys. went down one girl, Teresa, and they brought in Jen Fessler. Mm. That would work out perfectly. Yeah. Because I think even Jennifer Aiden, I think Jennifer Aiden and Melissa could get along if there was no, no Teresa. I, they were they were to a certain degree. No, that's degree. what I'm saying. I think they would I think go they fine. were, but I think she thinks that her bread's buttered with Teresa in this respect to yeah. stay in this arena. I so, mean, we'll get in. We'll, I have some other comments yeah. on that which we can get into. So season 14, episode 17. 13. What? Why did I read 14? I thought it was season 13. Maybe I'm wrong. I could wrong. be wrong. Who's know. wrong here? 13. 13. Sorry about that. Could could definitely. I was, listen, I, this was fast typing as I was in between things. So I was trying to get my notes in. So it was rough. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. This one, I just wanted them to get right in there because the trailers were acting like yeah. it was going to be intense. I didn't want any of that bull crap background stuff where they're coming in from the car and hanging up their dress and Andy's going to talk to each one of them. No, let's just get them out on stage. Yeah. And they did that this time, so I'm very glad. I don't know why they didn't do it that way because they, they... Well, they really didn't do that for Sandoval either. A little, about, a little a bit, little bit, but not enough. But it was more of but, like the group talking with each other because it's just, you know, that's amping it up, like, you know, to really yeah. get it going. Because even... I have to say, even between snippets and clips, maybe they'll still do it, I don't know, next week or something, but they didn't even do, like, sometimes they'll do with Beverly Hills and those girls, like, they'll show them eating lunch, they'll show them coming yeah. in. They didn't do any of that. It's just straight Well, on that usually the floor. comes during the second part of the reunion, because that's yeah. usually probably when they're right Midway. about lunch, so yeah. we'll have to so see it next could week. Still, it could still happen, but... But I think it also depends on what they've just talked about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, the... it's like a little chance to be like, like... Oh, you should go and re- go out with like with a different mindset when you go out. Like you can't yeah, talk to true. Teresa or Melissa with no. that because you they've said this already from the start. They have one goal, and it's pretty much not to talk to each other. Yeah, they're they've multiple times have said they're done, yeah. but they've definitely finalized it here, and it's only episode one. They start out with an interesting choice. Not you now, sissy. Well, I told you that was coming. They start out with an interesting choice for the stage area. They try to mimic a castle in Ireland. Yeah. And they have these portraits up that clearly look like they're from Traitor, the, the show Traitor. Oh, yeah, Traitor. the Traitors. Um, because they did... Well, I remember I told you I thought that castle looked like it, but we looked it up and it, they're not the same castles. No. The portraits were freaking hilarious. I Could thought they were... a little were, bit better on Photoshopping the faces in there. But I think it was supposed no, to I know. be like it's joking. But yes, yeah, some of them were like little wackadoo. But I thought they were... She's going to eat the cardboard now. Sissy, sissy, don't eat that. We have food. You're not poor. What the hell's her issue now, sissy? She's got the zoomies? Yeah. One anyway. issue from the next. So all the women just enter straight onto the stage. However, there were two... <laughs> there were two things that caught my eye. Was Melissa's crazy outfit. Uh, the coming in with the hood like she's a boxer. boxer? I I noticed yeah. that instantly. But however, I've heard there's memes out there that have made her like Glenda the Good Witch or one or the witch from something with the poison apple. I don't know. They there's a witch that they have oh. a, made a meme already of. It's already out there. And Teresa coming in with pants clearly too long. It was just not good. And the way they somebody were. needed to carry her train. You know what I'm kind of disappointed in? If you need someone to carry your train, wrong outfit. No, no, but here's my thing. I think, I don't know what the train said, but I think she should have had... 
Yeah, you interrupted me. <laughs> I think her train should have mm-hmm. said the same thing that it said from the wedding. Yeah. Like, like I think it would have been like a nice little homage to it. Like, because that would have yeah. made sense. Somebody was like trying to like. But nobody was. Outside. They were just carrying it. Yeah. And put it down next to her. Can't imagine that was all that comfortable because it had to be like a bump in your back or something. I don't know. The, I don't know. I, my pick, if I have to pick somebody, Marge looked fabulous. I liked yeah. her outfit. I didn't hate Danielle's outfit either. Danielle didn't look bad. I thought she looked like an ice skater. Oh, you know what? I see it. Yeah, I see that too. I feel like Rachel's was a little more like elegant. Like yes. she was going to a It was a, a ball. little much, like but I didn't, I, I didn't hate it. I will say for their first reunion, I didn't reunions, hate it. not bad. No. They were not, you know, there's been worse. I think Dolores looked pretty. She looked yeah. okay. I, I would have liked something a little better, but I like the color on her. But I thought Marge looked great. Head to toe, she had this like dark midnight blue, the bustier. She lost weight and not that she was fat. She but got the, um, she took the pills. Yeah, the pills. But she just, she looked good. It looked, the outfit was, well, was, I, it was. I'm going to be honest, I really cannot remember what she had, but I'm going to look she it up. She had like, it was talking. like a, it was kind of like a, uh, it looked like a bustier of sorts. And it just looked to me like, how do I want to explain it? Like, it looked... Oh, yeah. Like, she looked a little sexy, but she looked still age-appropriate. Oh, my God. Clutch my look, she says. You can get it from the clutch shop, her see. outfit. Does she show, does she show it? Yeah, I don't know. I just thought it looked like... It still looked elegant enough to be, like, okay for her age. I think they should have made them come dressed out in the portraits. Oh, that would have been fun. That's all I'm going to say. That would have been fun. My favorite part, though, was once they sit down... Andy comments, oh, Tracy, your hair's shorter. It looks yeah, nice. Yeah, I liked her hair. I will say I, I liked like her, her hair. I did like her hair, too. But, Andy, what the hell? You're going to just leave Dolores' dark hair out? I know. We made a whole big stink in our one episode when we saw her on the sit-down with the dark hair, and he's just... Yeah, he didn't comment. Right I, over I mean, her. Maybe, he'll, maybe he'll get to it, but yeah. I, I didn't I, like I, Melissa's hair. Melissa's hair was like some weird bun, but I know she did that for the for the whole hood, I'm in a fighter mode, I guess. I think I she should have done that better also. If she was going to play that up, she should have done it better. But anyway, and then, of course, we get... Because what would a reunion be without a phone ringing? Judice. Yeah. Which is such a random topic to like call somebody for. Like you're not going to send a text for that? Yeah. And you mean to tell me you didn't know that she was at the reunion? Yeah. Come now. Also, I like that it said Joe Judice work. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Make him work. I don't know. Right, but I, I thought that was funny. The best part is that they start and they're like, all right, everybody from the top. And he calls. And then he goes, the guy, you hear the producer go, and from the top again, like... Oh, did he say that? I didn't hear that. Yeah, he makes them go from the top again because they didn't even get to the top. But here's my thing. We were trying to figure out how to, like, truly, like, attack the, the topics and stuff. And the thing that, like, they, I, I don't know if you felt this way, but I did watch it a second time today. It jumped... They jumped from topic yeah. to topic. Like, like, I wish they would go, like... I think I know what you mean. Like, like, they were, like, on one thing, and then they moved to the other thing, yeah, and then yeah. they moved to another thing, and it was, well, like... like, they did, like, Teresa and Melissa, then they bumped over back to Dolores, then they did Teresa and Melissa, then thing. they went to it Danielle, and then they went back it to wasn't, Teresa. It wasn't, like, they got... Yeah, a couple times they got sidetracked, don't get me wrong, because something was said, and, of course, you go off at an angle, yeah. but what I'm referring to is Andy with the questions. Like, typically what he'll do is he'll say he'll start with Teresa. Okay, well... Okay, like you said, then you'll do the package for March, I'll say. Like, yeah. maybe you don't do them in order, but, like, I feel like you'll do them in order of, like, maybe who started out with the Big Bang of the season or something. Yeah. But, like, or, like, the, they, he trades, either you go in storyline order or you go from, yeah, like, the least, least stuff to the most stuff. It was which just, I feel like, actually, I do feel like he kind of did. Uh, slightly. Like, he did Dolores, which I feel like Dolores, not that there is a lot to talk about, did. but there's not enough to talk about till they bring Frank and Polly out. No, I know, yeah. Danielle, they kind of talked about as much as they can with her. I assume Rachel, they're probably actually going to wait to talk about majority of her stuff till the husband comes out since it's about the I adoption. Don't know. It's just some, it was, there was. Marge really doesn't have much either, but I think Marge is going to mostly be about the arsenal so they can wait a little bit. Jennifer, once again, best to talk about it when the husband comes out because it's about that yeah. and then you're gonna save anything the main Teresa and melissa storylines are about each other so you're gonna save that to the end because but it's, he doesn't you know. he kind of dives into it and like a, they almost give us like a spoiler that like yeah like that's we what I'm have saying, to like, by the end of this are we gonna know like who's on the show or i don't i don't think we will but i'm just well, saying like the no, way they say it they said the show's on pause i know i know but the way they say it is like i don't know if they think by putting the show on pause it's giving these two time to get back together, but I do not think after this episode, after just this episode, I don't see no. how they could talk to each other. Because here's and the I thing, think it's only going to get worse. Melissa came in in the finale saying, 
I don't really want to talk to them again. Teresa was saying that, but not no, the same. She, she did too, but, but I feel yeah, like now that you clear. see it's something different now that she didn't attend the wedding. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm officially I th- done. I think that... I think that Melissa just doesn't give a shit anymore, so she doesn't care. Yeah. She has turned herself off to Teresa and does not care. Some of her little, like, bye, and, like, little things that she did were just screaming. She's done, and I think... Teresa, I think, has been done for a long time, too. And I think she's just coming to realize it. But they do start out with Teresa. And they start out hitting with the Dina story. Which I don't feel like Teresa tells the truth. No. And here's the thing. I Cause I have no proof person. she's a liar. I don't have any proof she's a liar. However, just some knowing the things that she's t- they're talking about. Talking about Dina and seeing Dina on TV. And knowing how she acts. The other story sounds very plausible. There's no reason why she would not come to that wedding. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Because she only broke away from her last time because it was an issue. Let's let's compare. Let's compare weddings here. So Dina didn't want to come to the wedding because she didn't want to be filmed. And Andy said, well, she didn't have to sign the release form. We would have not filmed her. Yeah. Now let's look at Sheena's wedding. Jax and Brittany did not want to be filmed. They still went to the wedding, and you could not see them at all in this wedding. Nope. And I did was... find them in the background, though, on no, accident. And but, they were blurred, though. But she was clearly around them, because when you go on Instagram and all like that, there's tons of pictures with them yeah. dancing. And Kristen was there, too. Didn't know she was there, either, because yeah. she didn't want to be filmed. They did not want to take away from her day. I mean, now, would it have been easy, because if she was, she was in the wedding, maybe not as easy, but clearly it could have been I think it would have been fine when they walked down the aisle. You just don't air the clip of Dina walking down the done. aisle. It would have been done. When they're in the I back room, I definitely believe face. it was a problem that went on between him and Louie. Watching Louie in the clips that are coming up, there is no doubt in my mind he did something. Because he does stuff, and then I think because Teresa has the same amnesia. What? I just remembered one of my comments I had on the wedding. It was my only comment, and I asked you when we were watching... He had his groomsmen, and I said, are these the groomsmen that were on the beach with him when he was crying? That was my only comment I had, and the only thing I wanted to answer No way to, of knowing. Because we had no clue. None of these men were familiar except for Bill no, Aiden. I think they were, like, workers or something. Like, I people don't know. that worked with but him, that I was don't my, remember. That was my one question. So if anybody knows, are those the like same men work that were retreat. on... I don't know. I don't remember. The beach? No. Get back to me and let me know, because that was my only comment I remember. I just remembered I had on the wedding special. Was trying to figure that out. But, but they yeah. do flashback, and they show Joe Gorga talking about that Pizzagate, you know, part yeah. two and all like that. And Melissa does say in the thing, she's like, Joe really wasn't supposed to speak about that because Zena's husband, whatever his name is, I don't even remember they said no. it, but I don't remember, did not want to be on TV along with, like, I don't think he wanted to be on at all. I think Dina would have been okay being on with the wedding, but watching Dina, she's a cut, like, cut you out type of person. Yeah. So if you do something wrong to her, she will cut you out. Well, and you she know how the whole other side, yeah. Jacqueline, We saw uh, what she Caroline, did to them. All so them. to me. You know how that, yeah. that just those three, she will cut, their and, behaviors yeah. are. If she's going to cut her immediate sister out. The sink's got a little bit of a leak. <laughs> That's a lot of water, though. <laughs> if she's going to cut her sister out, Caroline, then she has no problem cutting Teresa out. Yeah. And... I think once you do her wrong, she is that type of person that... She forgives but doesn't forget. No. She forgives and cuts you out. In the words of Marge, that is literally the thing. I think she doesn't forget and cuts you out instead, actually. But, you know, it's... Teresa tried to downplay it. Tried to say there's nothing wrong. We're fine. I don't think so because the last time she tried to do this, she wasn't fine. So it is what it is, but... Well, because even... I thought Andy even said there was like a uh, less like you saw them hanging out less or yeah there, there's it, a you, there's they like were a, in a bunch of pictures and then all of a sudden yeah like why aren't you yeah I think something happened they also went into this whole big thing about Louie wanting to be on TV which listen I've never heard any of that I could absolutely see it but I've never well, heard no, of she it she tried to say that he yeah she want. tried to say he didn't but everybody else kept coming with the no he did because they mentioned that he wanted to actually date alexia from miami yeah which i thought was which, really interesting why can i which, see him with her? why can you see her with him i could see him with her i, don't I know can't about see her with him no her, no, her mm-hmm. with him but i could see, see like him, him with for that type. her yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah, see yeah. that as that's being, what i'm saying yeah, totally seeing him now that, that i like have seen her on on girls the girls trip i could see him trying to be with her but not her with him no 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 i don't think he's i think she's his they also make a, you know what I'm yeah his say. type they also make a comment about, I think it's Melissa that says, he told Joe we should fly out when they were on the girls' trip. Now, I don't know if they meant the original Ultimate Girls', Ultimate trip, girls think, yeah. trip or something like that to surprise them. Because remember, they them. called them. They called them. Oh, yeah. 
to that's, surprise that's them That's what she was trying to say. But here's my thing, Teresa. You're trying to say Louis doesn't want to be on TV. And Joe forced him, which, first off, we've talked about Joe's pretty tiny. No, I think what she meant was Joe was the one that mentioned him. Because remember, she yeah. wasn't mentioning him, and then it was him with Tiki Barber when they started talking but about it and brought it thing. out. And that's what she's trying to say is no, Joe. But but in the once realm again, of her he setting doesn't up, have to stay on the show. He didn't he have could to walk away show. at any no, point. But just because Joe mentioned him doesn't mean he had to show up on the show. I know, but even if Joe physically dragged him and put him on camera, which once oh, again, he Andy's talked about the release forms that you have to sign. Even no, you didn't have he to. He could do wake it. up and say, "Next season, I don't want to be on the show." But if you're gonna be with Teresa. That's going to be really hard to not be on it. So you well, yeah. had to go into and And they were also saying that he knew who she was. You don't and, not know, Teresa. Listen, that's what I'm going to say. I think you could ask any person you in the state of New Jersey. A, yeah. At least, let's just go specifically statewide. Well, of course, because this is where he lives. Somebody's if, got a friend of a friend who knows Teresa, I'll tell you that. Or they've heard do. of the New Jersey housewife. It's, there's no, maybe another state, no. But here in New Jersey, and you're like Spanish-Italian. No, I'm sorry. That's like saying nobody could name at least one Jersey Shore person. Everybody can name one Jersey Shore person. Don't yeah. even play. So you know the Jersey Housewives, especially Teresa of all people. This has been like... That's why I think if you were like... If it was like... Listen, no offense, Marge, but if it was Marge or somebody she like... She went that, to freaking jail. It was on the actual news. Yeah, that So too. there's no way you missed that because they made such a big deal of it. You didn't miss there's it. There's that too. It's not like no. she is some like like a lower level that's just kind of a no. skating by. She's kind not. Of, no. So sorry. She, Everybody knows she She Teresa. made national news his, like all over. Hi, mama. Like there's no way you missed it. So. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. No, I don't, I'm not buying it. So they're trying to convince... She's trying to convince them that he didn't want to be on TV and Andy, you can tell, is clearly getting annoyed with yeah. Teresa. Yeah, because even when she says, like, oh, well, I'm not leaving the show. Melissa's leaving the show. Andy looks like, like Melissa's gone? Melissa's gone? When, when did I hear this? Because <laughs> I, I don't... Miss, yeah. this, is, this is not Vanderpump Rules. You're not You're not LVP. Oh, well, you don't and, make the choice. And she tries to, like, act like... She's like, let's let's be like Beverly Hills and we'll be classy. Uh, or But we'll do, like, one at a time or something Beverly like that. Beverly Hills is so far from I that, just, too. But can I just tell you, though, like... Well, because somebody made that comment. Ter Melissa has been coming back at her very like... Because she doesn't care. Very, but it's like very like laid back and just slipped in. She's like, well, honey, you're not Beverly Hills, so that's not going to happen. Like, it's just the stuff yes. she says that I'm like, ooh, get it, get it, girl, get it. I'm like pretty taken back. But what? Teresa goes into the biggest accusation. She doesn't really say it yet, but you feel like she's got something brewing. Because when she starts with all the like... Oh well, you're not gonna be here. You're not gonna do this, that, and the other thing. Just you such feel a some, funny threat you, too. Yeah, you feel like something. Entry and Melissa, like, where am I going? And all you feel like something's ha like she's sitting. Like on she has something. something yeah. She's Which we on also something. know Melissa has something too because they have the paper with the receipt. Really? Remember in the trailer they showed it. Oh, Melissa yeah, opens yeah. like a paper or something. Yeah, yeah. Which thank God somebody's yellow envelope's gonna get opened on oh like Beverly God, Hills. Happy day. But uh, you have to wait to get into it yeah. because then they go back and forth i've been covering you for 10 years i've been covering you for 20 years blah 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 like so you're just waiting for the the shoe to drop on that one anything for teresa you want to add that i forgot no no i think so i think we could go into dolores which patterson dolores which by the way if you have subtitles on they spelled patterson wrong just a little fun fact yeah i didn't even notice yeah they spelled it with two t's huh i noticed that and we can't even get hired as captionist but somebody out there spelling it wrong. Yeah, because you're supposed to look up the area, but you okay, should know that you, you spelled it wrong. Yeah. So I just like... somebody goes, actually, it is spelt with two T's. No, it's not. it's not. We're I'm... we're we're right. They're wrong. We're right. The you're wrong. The Dolores package I thought was very cute, very sweet. She doesn't have that much going on right now, but I think it is setting her up for next season, which where I think I have a feeling she might have some more, or Dolores Center next season. Well, I think she definitely will. Be an engaged thing. She's yeah. trying to say he doesn't have a ring. I don't buy it. I think the guy does. I think the guy knows what I he's doing. I think we're going with it. I'm still I, thinking it's like a family passed down ring. But that's here's why he has my thing. The divorce. Yeah. Like, I listen. If if he he did not act like he got along with the wife, like buddy buddy, like Frank and Dolores. Yeah. So no, I thought he. He said he gets, he, they get along, yeah, but yeah. I don't think, but he said, I don't have the relationship that you have with Frank. So for that matter, like, maybe I it was could, like a financial thing. I don't know. That's what I'm that's saying. Like thing. I could see you doing that to be to for a financial thing, for insurance, for the, those reasons. But my thing is like you, 
if you if you're you would do that for someone that you truly like still not still care about in that way but like care about like what happens to your kids i don't know maybe benefited would benefited the kids or something i don't know i don't don't know know. what what that would be but they're saying now that yeah of course now he's looking into it because he is talking yeah i think that's gonna i could see that being dolores's seat like it's like like getting that getting the divorce and then the season would end with possible engagement i think that's what I I think that could that's be. And that's could what see. Andy said. He's like, we'll see. Which I think I think that makes see. I think everybody. I think at Bravo they know that we want to see Dolores well, get engaged. So it's like you've got to figure out this other two I, because you want to know what's gonna happen with Dolores. And now Danielle, a little jump ahead, she's gonna go speak with the brother. So it's yeah, like I think a they're couple setting up for next year. But here's my thing. Like, so do you think that they contact the like the not like I wouldn't say the brother of Danielle, but like since Paulie is like in it, do you think they contact him privately and they're like, so are you thinking about doing it? And is the possibility you'll do it on the show? Do you think they try to like Not suss probably. that out without Dolores knowing? I think if it was like an engagement thing, yeah, because yeah, like I think it's engagement. the same way they would go up to like them both and be like, you want to have your wedding on the show? We, you know, I think they might, or he may even come to them because he does know it's such a yeah you know like because that's her main thing of why she likes him so much is that he wants to be a part of her life yeah. he wants to do these things my favorite was like i felt like andy you, you, a little stupid here to be like what's the difference between him and david everything we all know it we all I see mean, it but i didn't think they were like that separate f- f- like to that extreme her and yeah. david like i didn't realize they like were not i mean i know that he didn't do a lot in her life but like here's the thing she should have got rid of him a long time ago because clearly that's not a boyfriend like yeah. you're supposed well, to want to spend time just with the didn't... person get rid of him because they were so separate that she almost forgot about him half the time like Could i be. had a boy oh I, oh my god i forgot about my boyfriend who my ex uh, my my ex is living with kind of thing i mean i'm happy for her. they said she they all the women said that they're she's the happiest they've ever seen her yeah you, i mean you i think can't seem to un- make her here. unhappy yeah no i think this is like the best dolores i've ever seen and i think she could honestly i think she could take over that's what i'm saying like i'm I think saying she could dolores absolutely take over next mm-hmm. season they're gonna pop her right in the center, yep. and then let everybody else surround her. They'll have it be like her, Marge, Jennifer, Danielle, Rachel, and then the Fez somewhere. I, well, I guess that'll I, be too. That would be odd, but no, I, I mean, could definitely, even, I could definitely, see I could her definitely see Dolores over. center. She could definitely do it because she's that. she's found that happy place between like angry and yeah. She'll still yeah. throw down with you, but you know. But I think she gets it. It's not worth it all, all on all things yeah. because then they go into. Is that pretty much all you yeah, have? That, that I, I, yeah, they really didn't tackle too much this no, time. I think once, like you said, once Frank comes yeah. out, a lot and of Frank them, and Paul and all like because, that, and the behind the, ba, ba, what is that? Private detective. Yeah. I think that'll all be kicked up more. I think I think New Jersey is so different compared to other shows because they do all have significant others yeah that like you really need them to be out there to really like dig into everything at this point they should just let them come and sit the whole time i think it would be pandemonium i think it would be so much easier to have them do that like have like one but like, i do circle i like, do feel like they will spend almost a whole episode on it i do think oh i think the guys are going to come out halfway next week and stay for yeah. a, a decent a part of it yeah, yeah, yeah i no, think no, so no. too so then they do spill over to danielle so yeah. I guess they are kind of going down the line because they did Teresa they kind of, did Well, that's Dolores. what I'm saying. They are going in like an order of like smallest to biggest. I could picture them then circling around and doing Rachel then Marge. All right. So Danielle. Yeah. Honestly, not much there. I had two important thoughts here. Okay. Share them, please. One, she says she sent a gift to her brother and she got it sent back. She got bunnied. She got the, she <laughs> sent the pink bunny and she got bunnied. The second biggest thing I noticed about Danielle, she talked about the brother saying that he watches the show. This was his favorite Which show. Which I thought was ironic because like Andy said, he could have actually been a part of the show. Yeah, so let me get to why I, why I think something interesting here. And now I'm not saying it's true. Did she go on the show to get the brother's attention? Slash to rub it in his face like, look, I got well, on your favorite show. Or be. to like be like, come apart, like, you know, try to r- put it in his face like I'm on the show. Something like that. Or it could be, like you said, to get its attention, thinking maybe he'll want to be on the show, so maybe he'll meet up with me to make amends. Or did they completely fake this drama to help her have a storyline for the show? Mm. No, I don't know. I can't see the parents doing that. Mm. I don't know. I can't see I don't know. I'm just saying. That's that's my far-fetched one, but I'm just saying. But I do think something else will come out of this. 
because it's 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 the whole thing is weird it's a yeah. weird dynamic but of course they discussed the brother like you said which when haven't we discussed the brother we knew that was going to come about you know but she's only seeing him because their grandmother died yeah. and it's the wake or the the funeral but so, i see the way she phrased it first was like oh they're gonna have like a talk they're not really having like a talk. There's no saying that they're actually gonna. No, talk. that's what she. But you don't well, want to have did, a conversation no, but though. She at the... did say she's seeing him. Yeah, I guess. So I guess that's the equivalent of like she may bump into him, but doesn't yeah. mean that he's like you said. Doesn't mean he's going to talk to her at all. But um, because and also that's not like a place you want to talk. No. Be like oh my god. But there is a lot of downtime at the wakes and stuff. Yeah, okay, but you want to have them scuffling in the back no, corner. No, true that. True no. That. But, the woman's trying to rest in peace. <laughs> But in that same note, the storyline that was beaten down with the brother, again, they dive right into the next storyline of hers that was like, oh my god, are we doing it again? The fight between Rachel and Danielle and yeah. the stories of Laura. I mean, the I, the only thing that made me happy was Andy did ask the question. She just really didn't answer it. He asked the question, so like, why were there so many times that you like left in the middle of a fight either crying or not crying i thought you were like this tough staten island girl but yet you ran away from 90 percent of the fights yeah and she kind of did not answer it i was waiting i'm like oh here we go question question like because we kept saying that as viewers yeah, she like, even said that herself like, like I, well, I why am i you, running away yeah like you're running away she didn't tackle it she didn't really answer the question so they do try to discuss a little bit of the rachel danielle thing which the only thing that came out of that that I really care to even bring back up is that everybody agreed it was stupid. Yeah. Because that was my even thing. Andy. Yeah. Because that was my thing. Like, I'm watching this going, this is not a fight we should be having for this long of the season. Yeah. Please end it. And even Andy, like you said, he made a comment. He said Dolores that it was said not a stupid. good... It was a good, not... Yeah, no, no. No, oh, it was not saying. worth, like... Like, this to have long, like, Andy as the two no. newbies say that your fight was bad... Well, I don't I mean, even know if he on. meant like it was bad. It's just, I think he no, meant like, like he it saw went like on it was too like long. For, like it was it, not a good fight. It was no, not a good fight. you made this into fight. too big of a thing than it needed to be. Like, it could have been a fight. Yes. A couple episodes, move on to something else. I think them two bonding would have been a better thing. And even if it was them two bonding, like Rachel and Daniel bonding and trying to figure out how to, her to be friends with Jen Aiden and, and Teresa and how for her to be on that side, but yet them yeah. still be friends. I think that would have been a Which, better you know, storyline. Which, you interesting. Teresa even mentioned about the Melissa trying to bring Danielle to her side, kind of proving our theory that Danielle came to be for Teresa's side and Rachel came to be for her side. Which I don't think she was. I just think Melissa was like, because then they go into like discussing like how did Melissa feel about her coming into, like coming with the secret and stuff and like now that they've seen it on TV. Like, how do they feel? Like, even, like, Marge, they were asking her, how do you feel about seeing the actual what was said between Rachel and Danielle? And yeah. she's like, no, I don't think it was as bad. And, of course, Jenny is jumping in from the side and this and the other. And, like, she's like, I don't think it was as bad, but I don't think she didn't say anything that wasn't true. And she didn't. She just said one simple thing. Yeah. And they took it and ran with it and made it into this stupid fight. And I'm sorry, Danielle says things sometimes that make absolutely no sense. She makes a comment about, like, pointed to her breast that's something about, like, something in here. And then she talks about her balls hanging all the way out the door. What are you even talking Wait, about? Wait, once again, she contradicts herself, too. You know how we said, she says, oh, I'll forgive and forget. And then she, or she says, I forgive, but I don't forget. And then, you know, later on in the season, she says, if the brother came, I'd basically forget everything. Yeah. Or she says that again. No, no, but my favorite thing is, she calls Rachel... The B word, because we can't say that. Oh, words, yeah. But, and, then, and then she goes... And a pain in the derriere. Yeah, but she says something about, like, she would never call a person a B word. Or something like that. And Rachel's like, well, you just called me. And she's like, well, that's because you are one. But it's like, it's contradicting no, yourself again. Because you're like, how are you going to call somebody that? She said something to her about being nice. Something, and she said, well, because you are the biggest. Or something, and she's like doesn't even make sense like just what she says doesn't make sense to me because she gets herself get so like kooky crazy that she can't even think about what's coming out of her mouth half the time i just i don't get it and uh, so they really don't dive too much into rachel except with that whole like a little bit of that laura thing and uh, she makes she throws out a little comments here and there and marge either they really didn't dive too much into marge marge i think i'm hoping marge will have a little bit of a bigger 
storyline, which I'm not really sure she will because what are they going to talk about Nico and, and that? But Oh, like discussing yeah. that stuff? But yeah, the that, part probably, of the, that will probably be the start for next week. But the part of the Marge storyline that I liked, which I can't say, I right now I can't remember if it came before or after Melissa's story, little synopsis, but they dive into the whole Laura thing too. I think it yeah. is off the tail end of this Danielle story. Yeah, I think it's like Where they say... Andy turns to Jen Aiden and says, "So wait, you had Laura at your premiere party for the Housewives?" Yeah. And she and she goes, "Oh yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, I did." And she's like, "He's like, she made a comment about her something with the show, and somehow they got into her. That like Marge said I wanted her to be on the show. I've tried to get her on the yeah. show. So I, my thought is, would you bring someone on the show that has a whole crapload of your secrets?" To no. be, you wouldn't try to get someone on the show like that. So no. I don't think she has a lot of secrets. That I think she made up a lot of stuff, or she overheard stuff, or something like that. I don't think she has like a ton of secrets on all these people. So I thought that was interesting because then Andy made a comment saying, "Which this is what I'm talking about, how they segued so crazily." Andy made a comment saying, "Don't you think though, if she were to come on the show and she were to come on the show as her enemy, don't you think producers yeah, would like that?" Be- you know, wouldn't that be a better... They would be just as interested. And she's like... And you can see Jenny agreeing. And then, of course, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's where they get screwed up. Because now Melissa and Teresa jump in. And they they start with that same old storyline of how Melissa got on the show. Yeah. And I'm like, you've got oh, talked about to that. be kidding me. Which, I, I completely forgot about this, too. When they were talking about saying Melissa's got to go, I really think Teresa's got to go because... There was another instance. She tried to pull, like, her original card. I know. I like, heard it. I'm the original. She did that the, with Rachel. Rachel. She said to Rachel, I've been here I think she's got to have that I'm card pulled. Yeah. I think she needs that ego taken down a little yeah. bit. And I think she's got to get that card taken away from her. Because you, uh, most Housewife fans would agree that once you are off the show, you've lost your streak. You're no longer an OG. Yeah. In that sense. You can come back. But it's not the same. So I feel like she needs it yanked. Maybe she needs a little break. Maybe she'll come back in the future. But the fact that you're trying to pull that card, she's yeah, she's reminding me of Ramona. A little bit. That's what I think is happening. Yeah, she's getting too entitled. She's getting Ramonified. Yeah, a little, too, a little too entitled. That's and, why I think yeah. people were like really losing it with New York because Ramona was Ramona a little too much. When anybody claims a show like Jax did with, with Vanderpump, um, I think people get don't like, like it. no, who says you're like, because if you're not, a, not that if you're not a fan, but if that's not your number one, yeah. you never want to do that. Well, here's my thing. I think people know, like when you look at a show, you look and you go, this is the front runner. When you saw, if somebody was of like, course. oh, okay. So when I say, let's say Beverly Hills to you. And you say the first housewife that comes to your mind, or the most popular one that most people would say, you'd be like, that's probably the leader of the show. Yeah. Uh, even if it's not a truthful leader, but it's like when you acknowledge that, that's where you go wrong. And she's taking it to the extreme. Yeah. They go in diving deep into this nonsense of how she got on the show, how he got on the show. And like we mentioned it earlier, what Andy's comments were, but she's trying to correlate it to the fact that, oh, see, so that's why you brought my sister in law on the show because it would be good TV. Yes, of course it would be good TV. You guys don't always get along. I don't. Do I think they thought they were feuding to this extent? I don't think so because I don't no, think they would have thought that. But I mean, then they dive a little bit into the kids with Teresa and Melissa because they were on Rachel, and I think that's how they segued there a little bit too. They were talking about yes, they talked about the van comment, the van about comment, about and kids. like Teresa insists that she was set up and that it was a planted question. I don't think it was. I think Rachel was just trying to interact with Teresa to be honest with you yeah. and just like. A start a little bit of a dialogue even, with her. Even Not thinking Dolores it was going to go. Yeah. Said that, like, that no, it was not I don't planted, think it was. Which I think is so funny. I feel like they put Dolores on the wrong couch because she has not agreed with any of the people that were on that side of the couch with her. I think Because she, I think Dolores is a little bit over that side of the couch. Yeah, I think she knows they're... they're, they're like, I think she's, yeah. like, coming to and she's like, I don't think I can play the middle anymore. Like, they're yeah. a little too extreme now, this side. Like, they're, like, taking it too far. Teresa mentioned Antonia and how that was wrong and how and they're they were trying to like compare it to like Melissa complaining about the kids saying they have hate in their heart for her yeah look that is true you watch those interviews those girls are brutal they are absolutely brutal so if you're thinking they don't have hate in their heart they got something in their heart and they she didn't clearly them. watch the show we talked yeah. about it every week I mean even if you just say pick one of them Gia especially I mean let's go on the fact that what Gia told 
Joe in the finale episode yeah, right on the phone there. was I mean, true. They're not. That's, they're brutal. They're yeah. brutal. So you can you had a whole sit down like, episode. That's you had what a whole she tried to say. Them. You never saw my kids like out there saying anything or trying to contact you or any of that like that. They never did yeah. anything that was like harsher, and I, I believe that too. But they get into the crux of her house too that she's still working on it. Meanwhile, she had so many people make fun of it. I think that's why they're still working on it. Yeah. But well, it she looks went like a that, nice house on the uh, Yeah, inside. she went for that, like, you know, what's it called? Farm Yeah, house? that new farmhouse look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 nice. I We're think not going to hate on it because we like that house. Style. I know we like that style house. But then they jump into the most ludicrous stuff ever. She starts naming about going to jail. Like, yeah. she's naming all the things that she's done on the show, saying that that was part of it that I was going to say. Saying that Melissa, her whole storyline is Teresa. Like, as if to say, if Teresa wasn't there, you wouldn't have a storyline. I don't think that's true. Because, quite honestly, Melissa retorted back with the most appropriate thing. And your storyline is hating your fighting with your brother. And Andy so is agreeing. Yeah, Andy if you agree. don't have your brother, then you have no storyline. Because that's what her storyline was this season, with oh, a little bit of the wedding. majority of 90% of the seasons, it's always the battle with the brother. Now, here's my thing. She starts rattling off. I had a baby on this show. I went to prison on this show or jail or whatever. She's like, what a weird achievement. I went, and that's when Mike Melissa's like, great achievement. You went to prison. You went to jail. Great job. So like, she starts like, I think getting inside her head with this whole thing. Well, because then the jail brings up the food on the table comment, which yeah. I had not actually seen that clip. They played it on yeah. here, which. I took it as Joe was saying, like, if we, all of us, did not come back and continue yeah. to film this show, where would you have gotten your money from? No, Primarily, who was Joe really going to film with if it wasn't with them two? Yeah. So I think that's the other thing that they're referring to. So the other thing that is goes back to that little tidbit that we said where we feel Teresa was sitting on something, she starts just going off. And Andy even had to stop her because she starts going off about... Jacqueline and all the things that Jacqueline shared with her. And we all know by Instagram, she did meet up with Jacqueline. She did have a lunch with a her. A long conversation. A long conversation with her. So who's to say what was said? Do I think this is actually true? No, because I'm going to tell you why. They're saying that he hung around with the business partner of Joe. Maybe. They're in the same field of work. However, do we know anything transacted with them? Do we know that they talked about anything? No. They're trying to say on other social medias that I found that Joe... Uh, told his secretary to put a call out to the IRS. That could be for anything. That could be because he has taxes to pay. He wants to check something. He wants to mail. It, it could be anything. Yeah. So you, if you didn't hear the person like Joe call the IRS himself and say, hey, this is Joe Gorga. And, blah, and why would blah, you blah, have blah, a blah. secretary do it? Like, why not? That's what I'm saying. You would make sure nobody was in that room when you did that. So there's no witnesses. You're yeah. going to have the best, because they also were trying to say the best friend partner was there you're not gonna have anybody in that room yeah i mean maybe not even your wife because you're like i don't want anybody to know. i don't want to like make her an accomplice or whatever of this so I, I don't know that i believe the whole thing to be true but also joe gorga just doesn't seem like that no. not that that kind of person like he seems no, like I he'd rather he, fight you physically because well, i think after seeing like i, I think he wouldn't want to see his sister go to jail that too I can't imagine I mean, that maybe, that would be. And I maybe don't think he, he would didn't think Teresa. But like, I just he think was trying was, to get her away from Drew. I don't know. I, don't I think really it know. was basically somebody did rat them out, but it had to be someone close to them that knew what they did. Yeah, because there's just no way. I see if if it is Caroline, like they say. I could see Caroline knowing things like like Teresa confiding her in her as like a mother figure. Yeah. Kind of thing. That so I, I don't think it was her either. I don't think it was anybody from the show. To be honest with you, here's my thing. Because why? You're, you're on the, camera. If you're off the show, you're off the show. Like, why would you take a chance at one of the days you might be Mike that you discussed it or did something about it? Like, you know what I mean? But here's like, my thing. It could have been somebody, a camera person. Could have been, been anybody. On, you could have been mic'd up, and they just never played that, and they could have sold. I don't know anything. It could. You have to uh, keep in mind you are filmed with a ton of crew. You have managers. You have assistants. You have so many people working for you that it's not even funny that, like, somebody else could have figured it out. Yeah, no, I don't know. And, of course, they end it with, you know, Melissa and Teresa, like, acting like, after tonight it's over. I'm never seeing her again. This and the other thing. And, like, you could see Andy's face is, like, shock and horror because he's thinking to himself, like, shit, if these two don't get together. And I think he thought 
he could solve it during these reunions. Well, or he thought he could have them be in the same room. But Teresa's even saying, I'm not even going to be in the same room with you. I'm never looking at your face again after this day. And I think that's, that's not what, what he was when expecting. They went away. Remember when they went away and they actually were like, we said, they could oh, the they know room, they know how to like yeah. pull it together. Now, did I see Teresa and Melissa really talking to each other? No, no but they could be but in the same were, room. Yeah, they were like, able to be in the same room with like their... We're room. not going to be in the yeah. same room. That she's like, I don't want to no. see your face. And I don't know how they're going to go back from this either because even just the few things that were said today... Yeah, I don't they're like know. big accusations. Yeah, I don't that know. You're not. Yeah, you're not. We gonna, haven't even gotten into Dito no, Bop either. And you're not so. going to accuse somebody of like. And and the issue is too. Everybody else doesn't like it. Dolores is over there. No, no doing her no, trademark. No, Dolores literally looked to Danielle and goes, "This is boring." Yeah, and Danielle, and Danielle starts talking about food. Yeah, about Shake Shack or something like that. So the fact that your castmates think you're couldn't stuff, even yeah. probably do another season of this because that's yeah no I, even, I think that's I think part Dolores of it even said too it's been 10 years yeah i think they're over so it. it's kind of and like, i think that would make a good cast i'm not gonna lie but you know i mean who's to say but it looks next week very interesting next week if they yeah. play actually what they're showing i hope they do oh, i see here's my thing i don't feel like they're gonna have i feel like the husbands are gonna come towards the like halfway yeah to carry point. you over to the next week so, yeah, yeah. Also, they had something too. Oh, in the previews, Teresa said that Joe Gorga is making Louis a little b boy. Oh well, yeah. But Melissa jumped on that one. But here's my thing. Once again, how is Joe Joe Gorga forcing this man to be so many things on television? No, he's on not. The, like how he's is not. Joe Gorga is such an influential person? I don't know why he hasn't taken up being a full time influencer at this point. It seems he's not. That's for sure. So my my last little thing, and it's about the promo too, is I think it was Jennifer Aiden who was going like a mile a minute, just saying things, saying things. Oh, and that was Andy so goes, good. Andy looks and he goes, oh, Rachel goes, can you stop, stop her? her? Can you and stop he her goes, from talking? she'll tie around in a minute. I feel like out of all the franchises, he I do feel some, like Andy said, knows the New Jersey girls the best though. He said, like, she, I think he knows she'll her. run out of steam in a couple of minutes or something like that. Like, like and I'm that like, to me was get just, it, like, I was like, get he, it. He knows how... The New Jersey yeah. works like... I, but I think there are certain people he doesn't like. I don't think he likes Jennifer Aiden. I, I think he's he tolerate her. I think he's tiring of... Teresa. Teresa. Yeah, I think he... I think Because I think he's... As a viewer, you can't not see some of the things that we see. Yeah. I mean, come on now. Here's the thing, though. Like, you need the fighting, but you also need fun. And I don't feel like Teresa and Louis provide, like, the fun aspects or, like, fun parties. No. And they're not... And, and But Melissa and Joe did yeah. this season. What they're... What they're doing right now with this whole whatever's going to come with this private detective it's like a little bit beyond yeah. what's expected and it's like he, apparently we see also where he had security that he's trying to bring up and yeah. apparently everybody still to this day has to be run through a certain like criteria for covid and stuff like they still do do yeah, that on these shows the yeah so i mean you can't just bring somebody and ha- and that's why they were calling to see if they could come up from what I understand. So I don't know. It's just, I think he's very dramatic. I think he wants to be like this large presence or something like that. But yet, you know. He doesn't look scary to me. No. Not even with the red face. No, he looks crazy. Yeah, he looks the red absolutely face, crazy. Yeah, it's, that's scary. It's it's kind of like more concerning. Why is yeah. your face always so red, sir? It doesn't matter the lighting, the setting. It's always red in it. You know what? I think you should check that out. You know, how about you have Bo Dietl open a case about that and figure yeah, out what the hell's going out what's on wrong there with because your it's face, a little man. worrisome. Yeah. Uh, he could open one actually on all the husbands because all of them get so red. Yeah, but he the majority is the them, reddest. Yeah, majority it's, of them have the red face. Yeah, it's, so. very, it's very concerning and I'd love to see these people in person. But that is all. And we're only really getting started here with New Jersey. We still have two more. <sighs> and I think they're only going to get more intense. Also, we are on season three of real housewives of atlanta so we're making yeah. our way through there we're getting to the good stuff where you know it was candy kim phaedra's uh, Phaed- here phaedra's here cynthia's here now and it's a pretty Nini. it's yeah. a it's a like a peak cast that we have here so yeah this very... is to me this was the best cast of this group i mean yeah. i don't know if there's more people that come that now i would say that about but this was this this was a good group yeah so we're working our way through that as well yeah and then we're gonna keep going on from there but that's all. We'll be back next week to do Real Housewives in Jersey. Also get ready because OC starts next week. Yep. But that will not be up that week. I'll be up the following Monday after OC airs. That's when we're going to put our episode out. Scandal is always a thing. 
like we yep. said once season three once the final part has aired we yeah which is next week yeah. it'll air so maybe we'll have something out attached oh that we're doing something totally separate right yeah. yeah i think it might be a separate episode if yeah. not we'll we're gonna cover somebody. the we'll whole our thoughts on scandal the thoughts easier. on the reunion the thoughts on the whole series as a whole you yeah. know how things have changed and stuff so we'll we'll say yeah it won't and be a breakdown per se no, yeah, of yeah, like, more of like uh, blah, blah, yeah speaking of we gotta go watch part two yeah. we gotta go watch the pumped gotta up go. version too gotta so go. we gotta go so we'll be back next week uh give us a good rating and if you're on youtube give us a thumbs up don't give us a thumbs down so leave a comment telling us how we can improve make sure you subscribe follow and turn on notifications so you don't miss any episodes and check out our other podcasts we talk about it all we upload every other week week we just uploaded so make sure you go and check it out mm-hmm. okay that's it go hit the button and start your own scandal what well no maybe don't start your what? own scandal uh take on the life of ariana because that's a good gig yeah we'll get into that yeah endorse 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 she's on the endorsement train folks hit the button